Good morning, everyone. So I just got to the barn like every other vlog. <laughs> Today, hmm, it's really chilly outside. There was like a 20 degree temperature drop. So I'm sure all the ponies are super fresh. I'm riding a new horse today. His name is Preacher. I've never met him. I've never ridden him, but Benjamin is busy today. So I'm going to ride Preacher and I'm kind of excited about it. Hopefully that goes really well. And then after that, I'll probably do something with Theo. All right, so I'm just going to go say hello to Theo. I'm going to give him a couple treats and then I'm going to head up and get Preacher. Good morning. What are you up to? <laughs> I can't even see him. You want a treat? I have a treat somewhere. Which pocket? Okay. Good morning. It's cold. All right, I look like an idiot. So I got a GoPro and I'm going to film a tag of a ride with me. It will probably look less dorky when I'm wearing my helmet, but. All right, there's Preacher. He's black and white paint. Uh, where are you going? So good he fought me a little bit for the canter and he actually feels a lot like legend his gates are pretty close just his are a little more choppy I'd say I really like his canter I kind of prefer actually I preferred a lot over Benjamin's <laughs> my GoPro died I think as we were starting to go on a short trail ride but yeah so a little background on preacher he's a trail horse but they're starting to transition him to a lesson horse so he doesn't really know anything besides like the three gates walk trot canter reminds me of legends and yeah i just really enjoyed riding him all right i know i look kind of homeless but i'm going to talk a minute about how to not feel discouraged when you feel like you're not progressing i've kind of felt like i haven't been progressing for the past <laughs> almost two years. I'm gonna give a couple quick tips on how to not feel so discouraged. So number one is to realize that every moment at the barn matters. You're constantly building muscle, you're constantly learning, and one day it's just going to click and all of a sudden you're gonna start progressing really fast. You're so lucky to just be an equestrian. Like, if you're feeling just discouraged, take a day at the barn and just hang out with your horse and realize how special it is to be an equestrian. You know, you have your entire life and you're gonna spend so much time at the barn, so just appreciate every moment you have. The second one is to see your goals very clearly. What you want to accomplish. And from there, you work backwards. So you're going to identify your goal, like I want to jump one meter. How are you gonna get there, right? You're going to start 
with smaller jumps and you're gonna work hard on those jumps and whatever you whatever else you need to get there but you know maybe you need a stronger core so you have better form when you see your goals clearly and you work backwards so those are just a couple of quick tips on how to not feel so discouraged when you feel like you're not progressing i know it's 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 definitely discouraging but it's not the end of the world grow forces back behind me realize that you're going to reach your goals and it's going to be fantastic so i'm gonna go grab theo all right off for lighting so i'm just gonna grabbing theo out of his stall and we're going to go lunge guys so I am done at the bar I kind of cut it short because I don't know there's something wrong with my kidneys and they started to hurt really bad I think it was a pretty successful day Theo had a victory lap around the arena because he wanted to go with the other two horses that were going on a trail ride and I thought he was gonna break a leg but he calmed down and then lunched very nicely for me after that bye good morning everyone I've been at the barn for a few minutes. I have about 25 minutes until my lesson on Theo, so we're just kind of hanging out until then. Today I have a lesson on Theo, and then I also have a lesson on Benjamin right after, so it's a pretty packed day. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You know, hopefully I don't fall off or Theo tries to kill me. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better off, and baby, you don't belong. I could feel it. nice helmet line but oh, it's bright out here so I just got done riding Theo it went really well I thought I literally thought he was going to kill me because he kept acting up in the trot and I was like surely if he's acting up in the trot he's going to kill me in the canter and so I was like every time he acted up I was like dear lord I was really nervous the entire ride because that's the first time we've ridden in the big arena you know there's a lot more room for him to kill me and so I was like Yep, he's definitely going to bolt and then buck me off and then I'm going to be out for another seven months. But he didn't and actually his canter transition was so good. 
We were trotting and then just cantering and it's so smooth. His canter is so nice. I was going to have a lesson on Benjamin. My instructor is sick right now. So I'm gonna run up and grab Preacher and probably ride him for a few minutes. I really like Preacher, so I'm not too sad, but I kind of wanted a lesson today because I don't think I got one last week. I think it's been two weeks since I've had a lesson, so maybe next week. There he is. You can tell this horse really loves me as he just walks away. <laughs> Hello. Can I please catch you? There's death itself over there. Uh-uh. You're heading down to the barn. Um, there's people looking at me. It's like almost 70 degrees and the sun is shining and I've never been happier. I used to wear tan breeches a lot and I've realized that I have now resorted to dark color breeches. Like I'm wearing black breeches right now and the only pairs of breeches I own are navy blue, gray, and black. Boy, he's wide. He's very wide. I feel so wide once I get on him because I just wrote Theo and he's like two months bigger. How horse relationships work. It's so hot. I am so hot. It's time to go spring equestrian go shopping. Eh, eh. <laughs> this is my only kind of warm weather shirt. Okay, so I'm done with preacher. I'm just gonna put some tack away and sweep up a bit and. Then we're gonna head out. It's been a good day. I've faced some fears today and I'm excited about that. So I got all my tack put away and I am now heading back to my house. <laughs> um, it's been a really good day and I'm so excited about the sun even though I'm like dying of heat. But that's it for today. Comment down below if it feels like spring yet where you live or if it's still winter. <laughs> Bye.